Hello everyone. So in this video we will see how to control an LED using the web page. So you are already know what is this. This is the ESP8266 development board and you used it you used this in multiple projects this is the LED so what I have done I connected the anode of LED to the D7 or GPIO of ESP8266 and I connected the cathode to the ground so till now we have controlled the LED but using some programming logic so once the code is uploaded so we can we control the led but with the help of sensor or some other factors we didn't directly control the led so in this project we will see how to control the led using the web page in web page you will get the two buttons one button is for turning on the led other button is for the turning off the led so now this is the connection connection of this project is pretty simple now let's jump on to the code and let's see Hello. so first thing we did is we included the ESP8266 library. Why we need this library? Because we want to connect our board to the Wi-Fi. For connecting to the Wi-Fi, I need this library. So I define the SSID as well as the password. So password is nothing but Wi-Fi password and SSID is nothing but the your Wi-Fi name. Okay. Once this is done, I define the pin number 13. Here, several definition is there. After that, I begin the serial monitor. Then I define the LED pin as a output. So I have told this in many times when to view any pin output or input. So after that, I am trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, using Wi-Fi dot begin command. So once I am connecting to the Wi-Fi, I am sending out the local IP address. So on this address, my page will be present. So here I am just checking whether my page is present or not. So once my page is present at this section, I am seeing whether the user clicked on low button, on button or off button. If user is clicked on, on button i will turn on the led and if user is clicked on the off button i will turn off the led so this is the basic basic html uh, text to like create and simple page so now let's just select the port okay road and port is selected now let's upload the port So first it is compiling. Now it is connecting to the code. So here it is setting up the uploading. That's great. Okay, done uploading. Here message came. Now let's move on to the serial monitor and let's see what we get. So, okay, it is connecting to standard programs of G. That is my Wi Fi name. Okay, it is connected. Now, this is the web page. This is the address where I can get the web page. Let me just quickly show you. Enter. Okay, I got my web page. So if I turn on my the LED from web page, my LED, the physical LED will be turned on. 
if I turn off, it will turn off. So by clicking the buttons on this web page, I can control the LED. So I hope you understood. So let's see uh, in the remaining video. Okay. So here you can see I connected the LED and my device is not connected to my system anyways like you can see this wire is not connected to my systems any port okay now let me just show you so on the screen I have two options one is for the turning on one is for the turning off so right now it is on the off condition let me just turn it on see once i turn on the led turned on when i click the turn off button the led switched off on off on off so as you can see we can control this led using the web page though our device is not connected with the system by any wire or anything this is happening using the local network so i hope you understood this project and you understood how to upload and how to write the code for esp8266 so that's it for this video see you in the next video till then bye